Obviously, all eyes are on the Middle East tonight as the world waits to see what happens with those negotiations. Fox 5 Sharon Crowley live in the newsroom with the latest tonight. Sharon. Yes, yeah, Steve, it's unclear if the ceasefire proposal Hamas claimed it agreed to aligned with what the U.S. and Israel put on the table. Now, we do know that Israel is not satisfied tonight with its terms, so the IDF has resumed airstrikes in Gaza. Israel began launching targeted strikes against Hamas in the southern Gaza city of Rafah. The assault comes after Hamas agreed to a ceasefire deal brokered by Egypt and Qatar, the terms of which are not yet clear. It's also not known whether it's significantly different from the one that U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken pressed the militant group to accept last week. That deal included a pause in the fighting and the release of Israeli hostages. I can confirm that Hamas has issued a response. We are reviewing that response now and discussing it with our partners in the region. As you know, Director Burns is in the region working on this in real time. Uh, we will be discussing this uh, response with our, our partners uh, over the coming hours. News of a potential ceasefire prompting cheering in the streets outside a hospital in Gaza. <laughs> However, those celebrations could be premature. Israel says the deal did not meet its core demands. So the Israeli Defense Forces are moving forward with an assault on Rafah. However, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is willing to continue talks. We examine every answer and response in the most serious manner and are exhausting every possibility regarding negotiations and returning the hostages. The prime minister is getting backlash at home. In Tel Aviv, protesters took to the streets demanding the Israeli government accept the ceasefire deal Hamas says it's approved. Demonstrators including relatives of the Israeli hostages. We continue to believe that a hostage deal is in the best interests of the Israeli people. It's in the best interests of the Palestinian people. It would bring an immediate ceasefire. It would allow uh, increased movement of humanitarian assistance. And so we're going to continue to work to try to reach one. Well, Hamas's acceptance of this ceasefire deal came just after Israel ordered an evacuation of 100,000 Palestinians from a neighborhoods in Rafah. The U.S., as you know, has been trying to discourage Israel from a ground offensive in Rafah because there are so many civilians living there, Steve. All right. Thanks, Sharon.